Driving into a car at 40 miles per hour is going to hurt you with or without a $400 piece of plastic helmet on your head. When a NFL wide receiver meets a safety head-on, we expect them both to get up to play second down. As an expert said, in a car crash, you stop in a matter of feet. In a NFL impact, you stop in inches. A big hit on the field can be just as devastating as a car crash, or in some cases worse. On July 14, 2014, five NFL players sued the union over concussions claimed that the NFL Players Association withheld information from the players about the risk of head injuries. Let me take you back to the first innovator, Joseph M. Reeves, who created the first helmet. Joseph M. Reeves, a U.S. Naval Academy midshipman, was advised by a naval doctor that one more blow to the head would result in instant insanity or even sudden death. Reeves then wore a protective device on his head made out of moleskin to allow him to play in the 1893 Army-Navy game. Reeves was the first innovator of the helmet, and from that point on, the football helmet has improved dramatically in over 100 years, yet concussions still occur greatly to professional, college, and high school players. In 1917, the first helmet was created called the ZH helmet, made out of leather. In 1935, the first face mask was created on a helmet to protect players' noses and transfer the impact to the outer shell of the face mask. After decades of players wearing the same styled leather helmet, John T. Riddle and his son John T. Riddle Jr. created the first ever plastic helmet with material that was much stronger, durable, and lighter than the previous models. In 1986, the first polycarbonate helmet was lighter than plastic and far more durable. The polycarbonate helmet was brought to the NFL to prevent injuries and to significantly reduce concussions. In 2002, Riddle created the Revolution, the first major development in the field in 25 years. The new helmet was meant to ensure increased safety as well as comfort for players on all levels of play. The most popular helmet in the world since its inception is the Shut Ion 4D, which the padding is made of thermoplastic urethane and is designed focusing most on maximum safety. From the start of the football helmet in 1893 and the current helmet now, the safety, comfort, weight, and style of the helmet has advanced dramatically over the years. Each adjustment the innovators have tried modifying in the helmet was the safety. The safety of the players using the helmet impacted human experience by the amount of head and brain injuries. In the mid-20th century, as many as 30 players were dying due to head injuries. Since the 1980s, the NFL haven't had a single skull fracture. We have learned to not just focus only on hard protection, but the shock absorption of softer materials. Concussions are currently the biggest injury in all of football right now, occurring to high school players, college players, and the National Football League. Reports have shown an increasing number of retired NFL players who have suffered concussions developed memory and cognitive issues such as dementia, Alzheimer's, depression, and chronic traumatic encephalopathy, also known as CTE. CTE is a degenerative disease of the brain and is associated with repeated head traumas like concussions. Football helmets have not yet overcome the safety issues of concussions, but have developed helmets that has improved the player's safety to head injuries and not killing them. The development of the football helmet has a positive impact on the progress in humanity, as I stated, the evolution of the helmet, as well as the disadvantages. The improvement of the football helmet has saved many lives from head injuries which could have resulted to a player having cognitive problems. Football is a very iconic sport in America and without the innovation of the football helmet and the current improvements in the helmet, football would be a very deadly sport.